Hi, Carl Massey here, um, coach, strategist and author. And I'm also of this book, Decision Making Mastery. And what I've created is a number of videos where I'm gonna teach you some of the best things I learned out of the writing of this book to help you become a better decision maker. Now, my background is 14 years as an officer in the army, five years as a security consultant to Olympic Games. And I've also added to that um, training as a personal fitness trainer neuro-linguistics programming practitioner, hypnotherapy, and I've been coaching people in decision-making for the last 14 years. So that's what I bring to the table. So what I'm going to do is like five basic tips to help you become a better decision-maker. So they're pretty simple, but once you put them in, I'm all about finding what has the biggest return on investment. So let's dive straight into it with the first thing. And this is what I found out when I started writing this book over the course of one year in 2020, as lots of decisions were being made in different directions, good, bad, and otherwise. I realized one of the things with making great decisions is making sure we're in the right state to step into that decision-making process. For example, how good are you making decisions when you're hungry? How good are you making decisions when you're tired? How good are you making decisions when you're thirsty, when you're dehydrated. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty bad at all of those. So what I'm saying is when it comes to making a decision, the first thing we need to do is make sure we're in the right physiological state to make the decision. And one of the best tools we can use, and this I think is the best tool, if you take away nothing else from this, these five videos, but this thing, is the timeout. And what I'm saying there is, if you're not in the right physiological state to make a decision at the level you want to make it, a high quality decision, maybe you're being asked something from a boss, from your partner, from a friend. If you're not in the right physical state to answer that question, call a timeout. And what are you doing that timeout? You take that timeout and you take a step back, you drink some water, you chew on some nuts, maybe you eat an apple or something like that. Step outside, you step have some fresh air, you breathe in some fresh air, and that might put you back in the right physiological state to step up to it. Now, if there's bigger decisions with higher consequences, it might mean the timeout is two days. You might say to your boss, look, I can make the decision now, but you're gonna get a 60% outcome from that decision, or I'm gonna duck off for the weekend, I'm gonna take it easy for a couple of days, I'm gonna put my feet up, and then I'll come back on Monday, I'll be in the right physical state to make that decision, and I'm gonna get closer to the 100% outcome that you want. So this is the first tip. Are you in the right physical state? The second part to that, I've made myself in the right physical state, am I in the right emotional state? So sometimes this takes a little bit more work for us to get into this place of calm. We want to be in the calmer state of being so that we have the maximum amount of blood flow to the prefrontal cortex of our brain, so then we've got most access to the most in, intelligent part of our being. We can make the best decisions. So that's really important. Again, if you're not in the right emotional state, step back. Maybe again, it's taking some breaths. Maybe you need to make a call. Maybe again, you need to take a couple of days off, whatever it is. So that's my number one tip. And again, I say, if you take nothing else away from this decision-making mastery, but you become good at mastering your inner state, your inner physical state, your inner emotional state, and then you step into that decision-making, calm, centered, grounded, not hungry, not hangry, not tired, not thirsty, and then you can be there, tapping into the highest elevated brain state possible, to make the highest quality decisions. So there you go, there's tip number one. We've got four more tips coming, so I look forward to sharing with you in subsequent videos.